Hey guys, I'm back with a quick tutorial. So let's get started and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to be using this, just it's a flat brush. I actually have two of those because I don't like mixing colors. And then I'm going to use two different sizes of blending brushes. One is more of like a pencil brush and one is more of a fluffier blending brush. And for eyeshadow, you can use any mix, um, Revlon, I know makes quads, CoverGirl has some really great colors, but what I'm going to be using is from my Coastal Scents palette. This is, you know, one of their smaller ones. So the colors that I'm going to be using are this black, this brown, uh, this brown, and this peachy skin tone color. So let's get started. First brush that I'm going to use is the smaller, it's just a tighter flat brush. I'm going to dip it in the black. And pat it on the lid. You want to be very careful. I mean, it doesn't have to look perfect. But you don't want to get it everywhere. I know this black is pretty pigmented, so... You really want to try to not like get it underneath your eye. That's that. I'm going to take my other flat brush and put it in the brown. And we're going to go into the crease with this and start blending. Just slightly. Dragging some of that black up. And I know it looks crazy dark right now, but we will lighten it up. So then I'm going to take my blending brush and dip it in the lighter brown that I showed you guys. And we're just going to smooth out and go down. We're going to blend it all into that darker brown. key to this look is just you do not want harsh edges. And the great thing about this look is if it's not perfect, it's good because, I mean, it's a smoky eye. It's supposed to look like smoldering and kind of sexy and, um, dramatic but you don't want it to be like all over the place
I'm going to take my little pencil brush and dip it into the darker brown and just go under, not all the way, just maybe not quite to the pupil. So let me see if I can show you. I'm wiping off my second fluffy brush and I'm going to dip it into the peachy color and we're going to go right under the brow bone and kind of down onto that smoky eye just to give it some iridescence to lighten and brighten it a little bit because this is a daytime look for me. Don't pack it on over the smoky eye. Just kind of wipe it on. And then I'm going to go back in and blend. You can wipe your brush off in between blending from the light down to the dark. Don't blend from dark up to light because then it's going to darken that highlight under the brow bone. Blend from up from top to bottom. Okay, now for eyeliner. I'm going to be using my trusty, I don't even, you can't even see. <laughs> I've rubbed everything off. Um, but I think it's Revlon. It's the blackest black. I mean, you can see it comes with like a little sponge tip for smoking out your liner. And then, you know, just the, you can twist it and the tip comes up. I actually need a new one. So we're just going to line the water lines. We're not going to do any dramatic liner since the eye is dramatic enough by itself. Oh no, I think I'm out. Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. This is the Revlon Extremely Dirty. The Revlon um, Lash Curler, you can get it from Walmart, Sally's, um, CVS, Walgreens, anything like that. I even think you may be able to get it at the dollar store, but don't quote me on that. The Falsies Volume Express from Maybelline. Looks like this. I've been using this at first. I kind of did a hate review on it because I hated it at first, but for some reason now I love it. And I'll do that. I'll buy something, hate it, and then get used to it and love it. So there you go. There is my really easy, quick, smoky eye, and I hope you guys love it. It's so easy, and I'm so obsessed with it. And um, so thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you learned a lot, and I'll see you soon. Bye.